Hello and welcome again. This is Zach OX, and today we're going to go over uh, subs and functions, the, the sub procedures. Um, so what we're going to do is start off with the first form here, and this is going to get very helpful for a lot of people. Um, we're going to go to View Code, and we're going to have a form load. Now we're not going to really need to declare anything, so we don't need an option explicit at the top for declaring outside the procedures. Um, but here's how you would write a sub uh, procedure. Go ahead and start with um, the sub first. Go down here. So we're going to have private sub. So we're keeping the scope within only this form. Um, start out with something we can just make up, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's say saying hi. And then you need to have open and close parentheses there. Just hit enter and it adds in sub for you. Um, what we're going to do here is just put say on screen message box hi. Okay. Now in this form load, we can call that procedure um, just simply like this. Let's uh, run procedure. So we call saying hi. Now you don't have to have call here. You can just put saying hi. But um, just as a little note, when you're using functions, you're not going to be using calls either. And they're going to look like you're doing functions and some other stuff. So you, you really want to put call in front. That just kind of tells um, another programmer if they're going to ever look at your code or anything that you're calling a procedure. Um, so we're going to use call saying hi. So all this really does is when the form loads, as the code is read, read downwards here, it's going to go saying hi. So it goes here saying hi. Now we could put saying hi, saying hi, saying hi. We could continue this and it would what would happen is it'd go down here and run this code again, and then it'd go back down here and run this code again. Um, and we could do saying hi in a different pr procedure. So for instance, let's go ahead and have a button. Click that, open the button, and run procedure. Call saying hi. Now, usually you want to move the code for a button or anything under form load, so I'm cutting and pasting here. Just because you know that the form load stuff should be near the top, that way you understand what's going on in the form first. Um, and then all your objects, your controls should go underneath that. So it would have form and then form unload and then clicks for this button or whatever else. Um, so this so this would be saying hi this would be going to saying hi and this is what is there um, so go ahead and run the program real quick hi that's when the form loaded and if we hit this button hi now how is this important well let's say you had a bunch of gibberish code here that you had to write a whole bunch of code um, and it just goes on and on all that doesn't have to be written up here twice. You don't have to copy that and paste it here and paste it here. You just simply call the procedure that you made saying hi and all the code that's within there will be um, executed. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to use a function. We're going to write a function real quick. Writing functions is actually quite fun for me. Start with private function and then what you're going to name it. Let's say um, get number. because We're going to give it a number. And you have the, oh, the open close parentheses, but you have to have what what is the function is. Um, you're, you're trying to get a return value, so it needs to know it's going to be an integer. You're going to return an integer. Um, try not to get lost here. I'll try to help you out. Return function. What this means is we are giving an answer to this function so get number is equal to 5 um, so when we ask for get number 
it's going to be put, replaced with 5 because it's right here. It says it equals 5. Um, you could have a bunch of things happen above in here too. You just write regular code. But you want to return your function. Usually people put as boolean and then they'll have um, is equal to true. Um, so if something happened up here and it, and it was okayed, then they have the equal true part or else equals false. Um, and then they would want to know if that code did run properly or whatever for whatever reason if they need to do it. Um, we'd go up here to this thing. Let's go to this button one. And for a boolean, we could we could do different things, but we're just going to message box it. Uh, get boolean answer from function. Okay, so we're going to do message box, and then we just put get number. Now what it does is this is a function so it's going down to this one right here and then it's getting the answer the reply which is uh, the return excuse me equals true so all that's going to happen is up here this message box is going to say equals true now this gets really cool um, let's say you want to calculate some numbers down here and it's just so much code to put here and here it's almost like the sub procedure you just say get number so you would say message box get number or label dot caption equals get number. Um, so in here, this really becomes critical because if you need a function for whatever reason, if you're creating a video game or whatever, um, you don't have as much code. You're just calling one um, function or one procedure right here. Uh, it's very helpful. <clears throat> now, if you have any questions or anything, just go ahead and pass them up. Give me any comments, anything like that. Um, I'm trying to make them th these videos shorter just because the upload time and having to divide the video gets to be a little bit of a pain. Um, so as I make these videos short, I still kind of try to stick to the point. I go real quick. Um, if you have questions, please ask. And anyways, thanks again, and I hope that this was enjoyable for you. And until next time.